All right, so welcome back. And today I'm gonna to be installing an air compressor uh, and the up-down air system. Now, air compressors are something I've been wanting to put into the truck for a while, uh, just so that way if I'm airing down, airing up, whatever, it makes it easy. Um, so I picked up the OB2 compressor and I've also got a tank, which I've already installed in the back. Uh, so I'm gonna hopefully mount the uh, compressor here under the uh, fender. And uh, so once that's done, then I'll run all the lines and hopefully we'll have uh, an air system installed on the truck. So I've got the fender off now, uh, wasn't too difficult, and it looks like I should have room uh, for the compressor. I've kind of got it mocked up and strapped down right now. Uh, so yeah, so now I just need to drill some holes and uh, bolt that thing down and uh, start running the lines. It was kind of a pain in the butt uh, to get that up in there, but it is now attached, so now I just need to throw the fender on. Uh, I have my wires run outside of the fender so I can hook that up because I don't have air lines. Uh, or power hooked up to the compressor yet. Uh, so we'll get that hooked up after I throw the fender back on. Uh, hopefully we've got clearance and it fits, uh, but during the test fit, it seemed okay. All right, so this is day two now for install for me. Uh, things are moving right along uh, on you know setup and everything. However, I have run into a few snags. Uh, the first off is that this kit wasn't exactly made for this truck. They do have vehicle specific kits uh, from up down air for Jeep and Raptor, uh, but they don't have anything for Ram. Uh, so I ordered one of the, the other kits and I chopped part of the bracket off uh, used to mount it for that vehicle. Um, and instead I chopped it down here and drilled a hole so that way I could uh, throw a bolt in there and bolt it down. And I will say I'm mildly irritated uh, about the kit because uh, on the up down air unit, it should have had an input uh, on the side here for air from the air compressor, uh, but that wasn't there and instead it was a plug, uh, which normally wouldn't be that big of a deal, but the plug was stripped out. Uh, the Allen head on the inside was already kind of chewed up. And so removing it proved very, very difficult. Uh, I was finally able to get it by using uh, a couple easy outs. And once I drilled holes with that and it stripped that out, I was able to use a larger drill bit. And once I got a, a hole built, drilled big enough, uh, I was able to jam a screwdriver in there and unscrew it. Uh, but that wasn't real easy to do. Uh, and I did reach out to Updown Air to see what they have to say about that. So I'm not sure because the kit should have come uh, with the input uh, on the side there instead of a plug. Otherwise, insulation has gone uh, well. I did add a little on-off valve here on the side, and that's because uh, the way the unit works is you have a little valve here that you can flip open to air down your tires. Uh, but because I'm running an air tank, if I have air in the tank and I open this valve, it would drain air from the air tank as well. Um, so I threw the uh, little valve on here. So that way, if I want, I can still keep my air tank fully uh, filled up. I can close off to the tank and then that way when I air down, I'm not letting air out of my tank as well. So um, pretty easy to do and uh, all the push connect set, uh, connections are working well, um, no leaks or anything like that. And uh, so that's kind of been nice that it's all just worked together like that. And then the other thing I did for the compressor is I hooked up the fan to the on off switch. Uh, so as soon as I turn the compressor on, the fan turns on, uh, but it's on the positive side of the pressure switch. So that way uh, when the pressure switch tells the compressor to turn off, the fan will stay on. Uh, so that way it'll help keep it cool, especially since I have it mounted upside down, uh, you know, instead of the normal way for mounting it. All right, so today is, I believe, day three of install for me uh, of the up-down air system. Uh, we've got the regular setup, we've got the compressor installed, and we have the tank set up. Uh, but now I need to run all the lines for the up-down air system, and these are the ones that go to each tire. Um, you can take a look at the diagram here and see exactly how that all lays out. Um, of course, every vehicle is a little bit different, but this is basic setup. Now, up down air does come with uh, some air lines. However, these are really meant for a Jeep since this is the original kit and what it was for. Um, and so these lines aren't really long enough for what I wanna do. So I did pick up some extra line on Amazon. Uh, of course, I've got the link down below if you need to do the same. And so this will enable me to install and do everything custom for this truck. Now, the main thing for me today is installing these little air chucks, uh, and these are the ones that go to each tire individually. Um, so once I figure out a good location for these, then I'll be able to run all of my lines, and then I'll be pretty much done with insulation. One disappointing thing still is it's now the next weekend for install here, and it's been uh, over five business days since I've emailed up down air about their system arriving uh, screwed up with that uh, plug installed uh, and I've yet to hear back from them. So that kind of sucks. Uh, of course, if I hear back from them prior to editing and putting this video together, I will mention that, uh, but otherwise pretty lame customer service. 
So the system is now fully installed. I have lines running to the front and rear as well as to all the tires uh, with the individual air chucks. So now I'll be able to control uh, my air pressure going up or down all from here. Now that I've had the up down air system installed for a while, I figured I'd make a video for it. Um, so far it's been working flawlessly for me. Um, it makes it really easy to use and allows me to kind of focus on other stuff than I need to while the tires are either airing up or I'm letting air out. So let's go over, uh, of course, how that works. And uh, to start off with, we just got to this dirt kind of lot area. So I'm gonna go ahead and air down. Now the first thing we want to do is go ahead and grab our up down air bag. This has all of the air tubes uh, that we're going to need in order to let air out. So now that we've got one of our air tubes, we're going to go ahead and head over to the tire and go ahead and take the air cap off of course. Stick that up on top of the tire where I'm guaranteed to lose it. Take our little valve here, push it on, and give it a kind of a quarter turn. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is plug it into where the actual line goes. Now this of course does vary by vehicle. Uh, I've got mine up and under there so that you can kind of see. Uh, so let me go ahead and attach that. One tire down and let's go ahead and hook up the others. So each tire will have its own uh, line and plug up at the top there. Now, depending on your vehicle, it depends on where you're going to be installing those. And of course you can still install it kind of wherever it is that you want. This wasn't a vehicle specific kit, so I kind of placed it where I wanted it. Um, but of course you're allowed to change and, and move it wherever you want. Now I did need to order a new airline and air tubing because uh, I didn't have enough supplied in the kit, but that's okay because I one knew that and two, it's not a vehicle specific kit. And so I'm not really surprised that I was short online because this was really made for a Jeep. The most important part of the whole system is actually going to be the air controller right here. Now, once you have all of your lines hooked up properly and hooked up to your tires, um, you'll see on here, you've got a pressure gauge. So that will tell you what your tire pressures are, are at. Um, and it makes it super simple to air down. So if you want to reduce air, of course, in your tires, go and flip this valve. And then and whenever you're done airing down, you can flip the valve, close it, and then you'll see how much pressure you've got. So it's helpful because you can open it up, let some of the air out, and then of course, close it, check your air pressure. And once you have a, a good idea of this, you do it a couple times, you figure out exactly how long it takes to air down from you know 50 or 40 PSI down to 12 or 20, whatever it is that you wanna do. And so you just you know either set a timer or you just close it every once in a while and double check it. My system will be installed a little bit differently than yours perhaps. Now, because I have an extra air tank, uh, it's a two or two and a half gallon tank, I did put a little valve on here so that way it can open and close it. So when I close it, it prevents air going from the tires into the tank uh, and vice versa. So that way I can still have a full tank and control my tires uh, pressure here without messing with the air in the tank. What I like about having this setup is if I am airing down, a lot of times I'll flip this little valve and that way air from the tires will go and fill up the air tank partially. It's not super fast, but it does of course save a little bit of wear and tear on your compressor and you know, get it up to 15 or 20 or 30 PSI, uh, whatever it is that you might have your tires at. And then airing up your tires is really easy. You're of course gonna do the same thing. You're gonna hook up all of your air lines to all of your tires, um, but then you're gonna go and flip on your air compressor. And when that happens, it'll start plumbing air from the air compressor into the controller and then that goes to the tires. Now you can even adjust it so that way it shuts off exactly when you want it to. So there's a little uh, you know, adjustment here. So this way you can adjust your pressures and this works just like an air compressor um, you know, max output basically. So that way you can limit it. So um, after you do it a couple times, you'll figure out where exactly you need to have this set. And so that way when you're turning on your air compressor, it'll turn on, of course, fill up your tires. And then as soon as it hits the pressure that you want it to stop at, it'll stop. Uh, and then of course you're ready to go and you don't have to waste any more time. So this system has worked really well for me. Um, I've used it probably about a dozen times now or so, and it makes it really convenient to adjust your air pressures. I know there's a lot of guys out there that, you know, will kind of not do it because they're lazy. Um, you know, if you're doing a short stint or, you know, you don't really need to air down that much, you might not do it. Uh, but because of the convenience of the system, I find that I'm actually kind of adjusting my pressures a lot more. Uh, so it saves me time, of course, on the trail because then I don't have to go to each tire. I don't have to, you know, worry about the pressure on each tire. I just hook all of it up and basically let it do its thing. Um, so that for me is the biggest time saver uh, and the biggest reason, of course, that I got this system. Now, several months ago when I first installed the system, uh, I reached out to them because I had one of the plugs that was pre-installed in the unit and it was in there really, really tight. Um, and they never responded back to me uh, while I was making my install videos. And then on top of that, it's been several months now and I still have not heard anything, which is kind of disappointing. Um, they've got a, a social media presence. So I know that they're you know, using 
technology, I guess. Uh, but I haven't heard from them. So I don't know what happened there or why nobody got back to me. You know, even if they emailed back and said, hey, this was your fault, even though it wasn't, uh, at least I would have had a response, but I didn't have that at all. Uh, the rest of the system, of course, and the installation went well and I had no problems with it, uh, but it was disappointing to see that I didn't hear back from them uh, you know, during that time or really at all. Now, if you're looking for the best system to air up your tires as well as air down, um, the up-down air system is fantastic. It works really well. Uh, it's easy to use and, uh, you know, it's a time saver. So if you're out on the trail, it's not a big deal. You can hook up, you know, mess with your tires and then go work on other stuff or, you know, relax, take a drink, whatever, instead of having to sit there and monitor each tire. Um, of course, for guys that are running different pressures in the front and the rear, you just, you know, of course, hook up two or, you know, the front two or the back two. And uh, so that makes it pretty easy. But again, the fact that everything is convenient and, you know, easy to do from one spot and it's got quick connections on there, um, you know, it's, it's cool. It get, definitely gets a thumbs up from me for that. The other thing I should mention is I did try to price out making a kit like this. Um, I couldn't do it for cheaper than what they sell their kits for, um, like not even close. And that includes, you know, running the quality lines, uh, the connectors, uh, all that stuff. I, I just, I couldn't really do it. Um, so if you're trying to save a buck, um, don't bother trying to go that route. Just pick up the system. Um, it's got everything that you're going to need. You know, of course, if you're doing a custom install like me, you might need extra lines, uh, but otherwise it's going to have everything else that you're going to need for uh, installation. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next off-road adventure.